so hello guys welcome to this video in this video we will see how we can install zimra open source version 8.8.15 in ubuntu we have one of our ubuntu server let me show you the server this is the ubuntu server let me show you the version okay we have ubuntu 20.04 lts version so before proceeding to the main steps i would like to say something about there is a facebook group in the name of understanding email system and administration i would like to request you to join that group it will be a knowledge sharing group where we will share our experiences our knowledges to improve ourselves to ease our daily life tasks and this is the qr code you can also scan the qr code and get the link of that group also if you like to connect me to my linkedin profile this is the linkedin profile that you can connect so i am not gonna say more uh, let's focus on our main topic so this is my server okay what i'm going to do i'm gonna open a notepad where i am going to list the task that i am going to perform our main task is install zimra 8.8.15 on ubuntu on ubuntu 20.04 lts okay so the very first thing that we have to ensure is okay let me all the steps let me write down all the steps static static ip address static ip address we need to have a static ip address in our server the static ip address can be private ip address or a public ip address if it is a private ip address then it must be netted to a public ip address and if it is a public ip address then you don't you don't need to worry about anything else because it has the reachability to the internet so let's see what ip address we have we have a public ip address this is a vm from namecheap so i'm using this vm i could also use my personal private virtual machines created in the vmware but i prefer this virtual machines so that you can understand something more so we have a static ip address now what we are going to do we are going to we are going to set our hostname hostname and hostname and host files so currently let let's check our hostname is server one dot sample server dot xyz we are going to edit this i am using nano editor because in this uh, virtual machine in this a virtual machine somehow i don't know vm vi is acting a little bit weird so i am finding some difficulties to edit through by vm so that's why i am using nano you can you can use your preferred uh, doc editor like vi or vm or nano or anything else so host name so this is the host name let me edit this one it will be mail mail dot sample server dot xyz let me check one more time mail dot sample server dot xyz i am saving it i am exiting okay now i am going to edit the host file so this is the host file let me edit this one 
it will be mail dot sample server dot xyz then the mail let me save this one exit okay let's check one more time cat etc host name yeah it is correct and etc host okay it is also correct so there is a recommendation that whenever you whenever you modify your host name or host file host not necessarily the host file but the host name you should reboot your server so that's what i am going to do now i am going to reboot my server reboot now okay and to check its availability i am going to ping it let me open my cmd 63.250.47.66 okay and to make things easy for you i am going to write down all the steps that i am going to follow so that you can remember them and and you know what we have done and what we are going to do by the way let me tell you something uh, there is an amazing blog in both zimra and dextras where you can find all of these instructions in a, in a in a proper guided way so that you can follow them and install your server as you can see my server is live again let's log into it okay i can see my server's host name has changed into mail but still i will check it by how host name okay it shows the proper host name let's see with fqdn format okay in fqdn format it also showing the proper host name so it's okay so now what i am going to do is i will check if there is any unnecessary package or not in this server okay before doing that i will perform an apt update and upgrade let me list it update and uh, upgrade update and upgrade i'll perform an update and upgrade so that is update and upgrade apt update okay you can see there are many packages that can be upgraded it is recommended to upgrade your server fully before any before proceed to the any kind of installation so that you don't need to worry about any kind of dependency or anything else so i am going to upgrade it now up upgrade upgrade yes okay it's upgrading let me close this one so what i was talking about that after updating and upgrading before proceeding to the main step of the installation i will check if anything unnecessary or conflicting package installed in my system or not let me give you an example that when i will install zimra it will install the mta postfix or send mail whatever the mail system is it will install sometimes during the main operating system installation by default the os installed or loaded any kind of mta like postfix or send mail 
so when you install zimbra it may create some conflict therefore you need to check them whether any kind of conflicting package that may create conflict with zimbra already exist or not so for that we will we will check specially check two packages one is any kind of mta exist or not another is any kind of web server exist or not because zimra has it zimra will install its own web server apache web server so we don't want to need any existing apache web server in our operating system so that's we are going to check let me write it down check conflicting packages this part is important in a sense in ubuntu most of the time we do not see any kind of conflicting packages but in other distributions like centos or red hat or any other kind of operating systems we saw some pre pre installed packages like sendmail postfix apache nginx those create conflict with zimra installation therefore this step is useful if you are going to install zimra in other operating systems rather than ubuntu by default i didn't face so far in my experience i didn't face any kind of conflict but still we are going to perform this step so as you can see the progress bar is 66 percent and by the way i am conducting this demonstration in english so don't bother about this because this is for my larger audience i have some audience outside of our country i have some audience in different parts of the world so that's why i think as a professional as a system engineer you should practice english as a global language and you should have some kind of fluency in it so that you can communicate with your foreign counterpart easily and effectively that's it so let's continue by the way the domain i am using let me name the domain here sample server dot xyz i have already published all dns records again this sample server dot xyz let me show you if i ping mail dot sample server dot xyz look it is resolving the ip of my virtual machine so i have published all the records for this server because i have already used this server in many many installations so that's not an issue but it is not mandatory that you have to publish all the dns records prior installing your server you can definitely you can definitely publish your dns records after installing your server so it is not a mandatory thing but i thought i should mention it for your information so let's close this so now this is um all serve packages are updated and upgraded i hope so let's check one more time it is updated and let's see if it is upgraded or not yes it is upgraded now what i am going to do is i will check those extra packages for that dpkg minus s postfix i will see if my system has any postfix package or not okay no there is no postfix package and now i will see apache or any kind of apache 
okay apache 2 no there is no apache 2 package so i'm sure that nothing conflicting exists in my server so that's the relief now let's take a look at the by the way there are some recommendation about the about the uh, partitioning method let me show you something okay before doing anything else let me check the version earlier our version was if you remember uh, uh, in the prior it was the version our version was 22.04 but now as we have upgraded our version is 20.04.5 lts so what i am going to what i am going to say is there are some recommendation about the partition type the partition type is it should have a separate opt directory where jimra will install because if now i install zimra it will be installed under this root directory and if zimra is full that means the root directory is full and you and your system will not respond properly you may have some issue running the system also your system may collapse so during the partitioning create a proper uh, create a separate opt directory and install zimra there and spare some minimum like 50 gb or 100 gb space for root by that you can operate your system if your zimra gets full your server will still be able to function you can troubleshoot it you can do various activities to to resolve the issue so that's a precaution by the way let me give you one thing that is that is there is an article let's get let me just give you the article Carbonium block. Let's just use that bin guide. See if Zimra is here. Bin guide installation. Okay. Okay. By the way, this is the link of this article. Let me open it here. So this is the link of the article you can definitely check that article it is a detailed article where you have all the necessary recommendations to prepare an operating system before continuing the zimra installation it will help your server to be sustainable in long term and you will be you'll be able to manage your server in a more convenient way okay so let's proceed uh, let's proceed but there are, there are also some other facts if you install the latest version of operating system like ubuntu there will be some snapd directory that it is now not exist right now in my system so don't worry about that if you have also you can check those articles to see let me give you another link to take these two article take these two article so that you can understand the whole thing 
the concept behind it and the steps of it so okay now what we are going to do we are going to download zimbra and install it now to download it what i'm going to do let me show you if you are new to the system let me show you the steps zimbra download i have searched zimbra download i'm going to download zimbra email collaboration software going to email zimbra email collaboration software okay let me write down this step download zimbra zimbra okay so i got the paste let's make it a full screen i got the paste where there are several options collaboration network edition it is the paid edition we are not gonna go for it it has some free trial zimra desktop modern ui no we are not gonna use it zimra collaboration open source we are going to use it zimra collaboration open source let me tell, tell you something one more thing that i would like to add here and that is zimba open source edition ends 2030 ends i mean support support 2030 so after 2030 zimbra will not support any of its open source editions so definitely we should look some alternative and one of the alternative is extras carbonium it's extra carbonium okay let's go not go to the detail of it now we are going to download it let's click the download it will ask me some information i have some information let's text email phone country country you can select whatever you like number of mailbox your existing solution today my existing solution is in open source you can select whatever you like it's not anything that matters it's for their marketing purposes their statistic purposes so don't worry about it yes download option and it will lead me to this space yes i'd like to get customized code no i am not going to purchase any support so i i will not opt for this option no take me to the open source download space yes take me to the open source download space where i will get the link so i am going to the open source download space where all the links are here for all available operating systems which operating system by the way which operating system you should use if you read these articles okay then i have to give you another art, another link another article link just available operating system this is the this is the thing so what is the best available open source operating system for zimra open source edition as you can see there are lots of platforms available for zimra open source edition but which one should you choose what are the criteria you can read that article and get some hints so our operating system is ubuntu 20 so we are going to copy this link 
we don't need this page anymore now we are going to download it as you can see our packages are downloading okay the download is completed now the download is completed let me just expand a little bit the download is completed if you do ls yes this is the package now we are going to unzip it star minus xzpf let's see yes. unzip it yes we have unzipped it this was the compressed package now this is the unzipped package let's go to the unzipped package let's see yes let's see its contents these are the contents and this is the installation script that we are going to use now our next test step is install install zimra so now we are going to install zimra so this is the step that we are follow we are going to follow that install.sh yes there are few things that i would like to share with you that the whole installation process is log so you can take the log what's going on in the back end it is definitely very useful if you don't want to see doesn't matter but as a system admin i would like to i would like to request you to check the log it will give you so much information by the way the thing that i learned to see this log from one of my previous mentors Absarvai and I am very grateful to him I learned a lot from him about Zimra and different things and 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 in my point of view he is one of the most known Zimra based system administrator in Bangladesh so that's what I wanna say so that's it uh, let's continue with our steps i am going to open this log okay terms of software license agreement i am going to accept them yes similar repository yes basically we are accepting all the terms and conditions by the way let me tell you one thing sometimes user find errors here importing the zimra zpz key in my next videos in my channel i will show you what causes the error what is the solution of it how you can solve it so stay tuned with the channel and we will see how can we solve this issue so now proceed with the installation install zimra ldap yes logger yes mta yes dns cache yes snmp yes store yes apache yes spell yes memcache yes proxy yes by the way let me tell you something that zimra memcache it creates some vulnerability in your zimra server so if you read this article how to prepare an os for zimra installation you will get some instruction where you can see how you can secure your memcache server that is running behind the zimra server so that you can protect your server zimra drive yes zimra imfd is for beta evolution no we are not going to install this no zimra chat yes 
the system will be modified yes so let's go to the log as you can see from the front end you are only seeing this okay downloading these packages but in the back end you will see all these packages are being downloaded and these are these are going to be installed so we have to wait until the process is finished Oh, actually, um, let me mention it. Extras Carbon and Extras has two types of products. One is Carbonio, that is paid. But though it is paid, it comes with lots of exciting features. You will get high availability cluster, load balancing, and lots of things. Many exciting features. But if you want to try, free version that you have to go for the community sorry carbonio community edition which is basically known as carbonio c so you can see the packages are installed So the packages are being installed. Let's wait. As I showed you that if you just only take the front end, you will see that okay, it is installing these three four packages but in the back end you can see lots of things are happening and as we move with the installation you will see lots of things and by the way these logs help me personally help me a lot to troubleshoot many things that i faced during different kind of troubleshooting so i would recommend you to install those uh, uh, forgive me i would recommend you to check those logs so that's it by the way english is, is not my native language i'm also trying to learn it practice it so i'm not perfect and hopefully you can excuse my bad at english but the motive is to share my knowledge with you so that you can perform your day-to-day -day task quite effectively okay 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 as you can see these are doing this Repos Zimra, Zimra it is adding Zimra chat, Zimra common core, MM box, Zimra drive, Zimra inbox admin console, uh, Zimra inbox store, Zimra MTA patch, Zimra patch 34, okay. So these are the things that you are adding and over Zimra inbox admin console so, so lots of things are going in the back end but in the front end you can see only a few things okay now it is fixing up the permissions start our services updating Zimra Zimra it is now it is flashing the Zimlet didn't prove mc then deploy zimra it is deploying different different zimlets like view mail mail archive client uploader bulk provision 
all of this restart of services running post installation configuration okay okay now we have another log path let's check this one okay dns 0 resolving mx for mail sample server dot xyz it's not an issue sample server dot xyz it's not an issue maybe i have not set the mx record so don't worry change the domain name let's set yes the domain name will be sample server dot xyz okay now it shows me the all menus so what we are you are going to do what menu you should modify let's start from the top common configuration one in the common configuration everything is okay except the time zone you should set the time zone as per your time zone so i am going to set time zone my time zone is asia dhaka that is 57 so i am going to set 57 other than everything is okay i'm hitting r now all others are default so i don't need to bother about them everything is okay admin password is not set so i need to set the admin password let's go to option 7 and set the admin password go to option 7 then 4 setting the admin password 1 2 3 4 5 6 you don't set the admin password like that one two three four five six set a strong one okay then r press a to apply save configuration yes save config file yes system will be modified yes okay as you can see from the log everything is Zimna is modifying everything. Okay, by the way, during our during our installation process, let's see whether I have published the MX record or not. NS lookup set q equals to MX. Domain is sample server dot xyz. Oh, it has a mix record. Then why didn't it found the mix record? It has a mix record. Okay, no issue. We can definitely uh, troubleshoot that. We'll send a mail from outside to our Zimna server and check whether we can receive the mail that will test whether the MX ser ser service is running or not. Okay, as you can see in the front end, it is showing some basic things, but in the back end, it is showing all the details that it is. LDAP, it is setting the LDAP password, it is setting the local config and LDAP, also creating server, okay, it is creating the server, it is creating the IP mode, Zimbra user sample server, and it is setting the bind ports and different different ports. Let me check the log. Mm -hmm. 
server.xyz sample server dot xyz okay you can see in in this section zimna just said it's my network so that is how zimna sets its my network this can be useful for you if you ever modify or try to modify your my networks you can definitely modify your my my networks from your graphical interface graphical admin interface but you can use these commands to fulfill your purposes also it is creating some aliases that whenever someone sends to root it will go to the admin when someone sends to postmaster it will go to the admin so these are useful aliases in terms of sometimes you need to verify your server by sending a mail to root or postmaster in that case those mails will be received by admin so that you can complete the verification i hope you can understand my what i am saying or what i am trying to show you but still if you have any confusion just let me know in the comments so that i can take them and let let you know my answers store sql database starting servers now zimra is stopping all the services and again it will start all the services so let's wait for a bit now it is deploying some zimlets like zimna phone zimna search lighter zimna email zimna tooltip zimna chat open zimna admin version check
given it as mail. Now it is restarting the mailbox D service. So stopping mailbox D. is creating the Gelsync account basically Gelsync account is an account that that keeps the list of all the accounts of your server so that whenever you type or whenever you you compose a email you hit the two button and you try to write down an email whenever you press a letter it shows you all the recommendations all the suggestions that is because of galsync account so zimra maintains a galsync account that keeps all the list of all account so okay it says notify zimra if your installation no i'm not intended to notify zimra taking if the ng started running By the way, this ng is for the paid edition or network edition module in open source. It is not available, so do not bother about this. It will retry and check whether ng is running or not. But ng is not available in this version. So setting up Zimra front app, Zimra has several contacts setting up keys and i think everything is done yes complete configuration complete please return to exit yes our installation is done now check version and services now check version so Zimbra ZM control minus V as you can see my version is 8.50 with pass 34 ZM control status Okay. Let's check it from here. HTTPS. The mail dot sample server dot xyz. As you can see, we can. We can get the webmail and also let's see if we get the admin panel or not yes this is the admin panel this is the admin panel 
and from the admin panel you can see it, it shows some services failed it during the first installation it takes some time so let's not worry about that but meanwhile let's check whether our mail send receiving is working or not tail f bar log zimla log zimla log okay let me j open to my gmail i am opening gmail in my another I'm opening Gmail in my another browser where I am going to mail to Dextras. Okay. As you can see, all services are running now. So everything is fine. I'm doing this admin at the rate sample server dot xyz xyz test this is this a test mail sorry let me send it it has a timer so it will take some time monitor manage so manage admin i will go to the view mail let's open it yeah you can see i have successfully received the test mail from my gmail account so that's it also i can send the test mail from this account to the gmail account but the server ip address is blacklisted in so many places so gmail will not accept my email but our main purpose was to show you how to install zimra properly that i have shown you and all of these steps you can follow all these links to know better to understand better and definitely this is the qr code of our group so that please join our group so that we can share our information and knowledge and by the way that's it for today and I hope you all the best, have a good day and see you later in another video. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time.